Jamie from Shamrock Girl World and today I'm going to talk about how I grew my very first dragon fruit flowers in June through early August 2022. In this video, we'll continue to see if the June dragon fruit flowers set fruit and see the second bloom cycle in late July 2022. But before we start, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell for more videos about exotic fruits and how to grow them from seeds. You can also follow my Instagram and Facebook pages for more fruit tree updates and the occasional Irish music and dance. I checked the Zamorano flowers five days after they had bloomed and I cross-pollinated them with unknown or noid pollen. The flowers appear less green at the base with each day. I don't know if it was normal for the plant to be red-skinned at this point. I hope they make it. I checked one of the Edgar's babies, which had some separation between the fruit and flower after it had bloomed four days ago. The flower is yellow and the fruit is green and the flower is already separating. I removed the flower from the fruit. The stigma would remain and dry off. You'd want to remove the flower to prevent rot and infection. This is a great sign. I checked the flower that opened two days ago. It's too early to tell if it was successful or to remove the flower. This flower bloomed last night, so it was way too early to see if pollinization was successful. In the meantime, I watered and fertilized the plants. I checked the dragon fruits the following week and discovered that none of the Zamoranos made it. They had fallen and dried off the plant. I didn't know why since I cross-pollinated the flowers as required. An Eckers baby dragon fruit was failing too and turning yellow, but the one with the flower removed is looking amazing. The stigma dried and the top looks great. The fruit with noid pollen will make it. The last two were questionable, but I think both would fail because the flowers are still small. The yellowing is continuing to spread to the base. Both flowers had Zamorano pollen, but they would not make it. I noticed my Heresia plant was pushing in new flowers. Heresias are part of the night blooming Ceres family and would produce dragon fruit like fruit. I don't know what to expect from this plant, but I was excited to have another variety growing. It's been so hot over the past month, I noticed my dragon fruit plants turning yellow and sunburnt because of the daily over 100 degree days. So I put a 30% shade cloth over them to protect them from the intense sun. I looked at the dragon fruits one week after putting up the shade cloth. Some plants are looking better while some are looking worse. The plants went from yellowish back to green. Some branches had calluses while others had blisters. The Heresias are growing slowly on the single trunked plant. A third flower is forming too. I checked the Edgar's baby fruit that was growing even more. I would give the fruit a bigger protective bag as it grows. I discovered Zamorana was going for round two. I noticed small red buds growing on the branches. The buds are forming on the front and on the same branches as before. I also just noticed that Edgar's baby is producing more buds too. One branch has five buds. Two more branches have one bud each. The shade cloth helped the dragon fruits bounce back and even allowed the plants to bud again. I checked the new dragon fruit buds a week later. The Edgar's baby's bud is growing very well. The branch with five buds only has one growing while the remaining ones are aborting. A bud on a lower branch is aborting two and turning yellow. Another bud is also growing on the other side of the trellis. So of nine buds, three are going to make it. The Edgar's baby's fruit is growing slowly, but is looking great under the bag. The Heresia flowers are growing too. I don't know when the flowers will open, but I'm happy they're growing. Zamorano is looking great with his eight buds. They're similarly sized, and I have to remember that one is growing and pointing backwards. There's two on one branch, but one might overtake the smaller one. I think the flowers would open around the same time. Today is the 30 day mark since my Edgar's baby fruit flowered and when I pollinated it. Recently, I noticed the creases and lines in the fruit were turning darker. The fruit should be dark on the inside, but the skin appears green so far. The mother plant isn't growing buds, so it's focusing its growth on the fruit. The fruit might get a little bigger, but probably not by much. There are still three Edgar's baby's buds on separate plants. They're looking very well, and they're all about the same size. The Zamorano has flowers all over. There are two on the top branches and four in the middle. It's going to be interesting to see the backwards flower. And there's only one flower remaining from the pair that grew together. I began predicting that the flowers would open within the week. I couldn't wait to see the many flowers on the plants. I checked the Heresias, which got bigger over the week. 
My other Horisias aren't growing any flowers, but I was happy to see the Horisias changing. Two days later, I spotted the signs that the Zamoranos would open. The top flower and the bottommost flower had visible inner petals. The Edgar's babies got bigger, but were not ready to open. The Horisia got bigger too, and might open this week. I have no clue what they'll look like, but I plan to collect pollen from them. Two Zamorano flowers opened in the evening. The bottom flower was spectacular by 12.30 a.m. It seemed slightly smaller than last month's flowers, but it was still a large flower. The top flower had great side angles as it pointed its face out of view. I collected the pollen from the flower using a USB mini car vacuum. I pollinated the flowers with Edgar's baby's pollen. I grabbed the stigma so I wouldn't suck the pollen out of it. I went around the anthers, down the back of the flower, and on the outer petals, collecting every bit of pollen I could. The pollen gathered in the reservoir, enough for at least two test tube vials. I put the pollen in a stainless steel bowl and left it out to dry overnight. By noon, I put the pollen in test tube vials and put them in the fridge. It was a great first night for Dragon Fruit Week. The following evening, four Zamoranos opened. It was tough to film them because they were from different angles, but I was surprised to see them open at once. The flowers were so pretty on the single plant. There were so many angles to look at them. I pollinated all of them with last month's Edgar's baby pollen. It was tough to move around them, but I was happy to see all of them throughout the night. I also collected a ton of pollen from the flowers, and I made several vials from the dried pollen. I put those in the fridge too. The flowers closed into the next morning. The 20th was an even bigger night. Two Edgar's babies, two Horisias, and one Zamorano bloomed throughout the evening. I looked at the Horisias first. The flower needed a little help opening with its curled petal tips. I saw the flowers were self-pollinating because of the short stigma rubbing against the anthers, but I hand-pollinated them to guarantee success. I love the curled outer petals and pointy appearance. I bought the plant and other Horacea varieties in April in South Texas. The Edgar's baby was also pretty with its simple design. The flowers opened sooner in the evening than the flowers last month. The second flower looked great on the other side of the trellis. It was also cool to see the Edgar's baby fruit and flower next to each other. The fruit was a month old and was a glimpse of what the flower would become. I checked the last Zamorano flower that had more pollen than the Edgar's babies. It too was another beautiful sight to see. I collected pollen from the Horisia, Edgar's baby, and Zamorano flowers. The last Edgar's baby flower opened the following night. When it finally opened, I noticed there was something different about it. The flower had bent petals, which gave it an interesting appearance. I eventually noticed the flower also didn't have a stigma. When I looked down into the flower, it appeared to be folded in the back. I didn't know what would have caused it, but it was strange that it wasn't present when it opened. After collecting pollen, I tried to bring the stigma out of the flower. I could tell it was folded in the back of the flower. Once I pulled it out, it was short and deformed but I pollinated it with Zamorano pollen to give it a chance to set fruit. It was such an interesting flower and was the last flower to open during the week. Days later, I looked at the dragon fruit flowers after they've bloomed. Unfortunately, the Zamoranos appear to be failing again. The variety is self-sterile, meaning that I need to cross-pollinate it with another variety. It's failing even with the Edgar's baby pollen. I'm bummed that the plant isn't holding the fruit but it appears that the Edgar's babies are going to make it. One flower had a separation between the flower and fruit, so I removed the flower. The other flower is doing the same thing. The Horisias are doing great too, and I removed its decorative flower. The one with the inverted stigma is looking good and even had the flower separating from the fruit. 
The first Edgar's Baby Fruit is on day 39 and is getting darker with each week. It's slowly getting larger, but it's still on the small side. I want to wait and let the fruit ripen on the plant a little longer. I checked the Edgar's Baby Fruit, which was still holding on. The inverted stigma flower didn't make it after all. It had turned yellow and started drying on the plant. The third Edgar's Baby looks good, even though it has a rusty blemish. The Heresias were looking good too. Two more flowers were forming on the small plant. The Edgar's Baby Fruit turned a lot redder this week. It's day 46, so it's almost ready to harvest. The outer petals were turning red and there wasn't any skin separation or tearing as if it would burst open. It's getting softer in the middle and looser on the plant. I wanted to wait a few more days to harvest it. Today, on August 6th, I harvested the dragon fruit on day 52 as I dodged rare incoming thunderstorms. The fruit is reddish pink with some green at the base. I also wouldn't be available to harvest it later and I didn't want it to rot on the plant. The fruit was very loose and I removed it from the mother plant. The other fruit are growing great on the plants. The Heresias are doing very well and two more flowers are forming higher on the plant. The next day, after refrigerating the fruit, I inspected the ripe fruit. I could see the fruit skin was mostly pink with green petals. The fruit weighed about 7.3 ounces. Then I finally opened the fruit, revealing the pink flesh. It was cool to see the outer skin versus the insides. I also did a bricks test using a handheld refractor meter. It's a device used to measure a fruit's sugar content. I needed to put a few drops of juice on the device. The dragon fruit had a brick score of 15 when I looked through the device at a light source. The flesh has a slight scent and a hint of tartness and sweetness. It has soft juicy flesh and soft seeds and a mild tropical flavor. I collected some seeds to create Edgar's Baby Noid Hybrid seedlings. It was not bad for my very first dragon fruit and the first fruit for my Edgar's Baby dragon fruit plants. The next step is to continue to watch the remaining Edgar's Baby fruit grow. The fruits are on separate plants and the plants are doing very well under the shade cloth. The fruit should be ready in mid-September 2022. I'll also look out for more dragon fruit buds. It's been warm enough over the past few weeks and I'm still fertilizing the plants. The plants could produce one more round of flowers and fruit before the weather changes. And hopefully, I can remove the shade cloth before the plants go into their winter greenhouse. I'll release another update video showing the dragon fruit's progress. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to learn more about how to grow dragon fruits, check out my Growing Dragon Fruits playlist. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell. Follow my Instagram and Facebook pages for more videos about exotic fruits, growing exotic fruits, gardening, outdoor crafts, and more. <laughs> Thank you.